You know what's an awful weapon idea for D&D? The pay to win sword. It basically works like this. On its own it does no damage, but by paying it one gold piece, you can add one damage to its pool. The damage pool resets every battle, but you can pay it as much as you want. Until eventually it's... You fools face the dragon witch! Eh! What the fuck? How'd you do that? I paid the sword all of our money. I'm sorry, you did what? You know what's an awful weapon idea for D&D? The wild magic sword. It works like this. This weapon doesn't deal any damage. But on a successful hit, it will randomly cast one spell from the player's handbook. Which means that at some point during the battle, it could... With one last strike from this sword, our fight for justice will finally be at an end! Hey wait, isn't that the... Ah, great, you turned him into a goose. You know what would be an awful weapon idea? A bow with infinite ammunition. Except it doesn't generate arrows, it teleports them. But you don't get to decide where they teleport them from. So, at any point during your fight, it could go like this. One last shot and you're done for! You don't have the nerve. Is that so? Let loose my flying arrow! Meanwhile... At last, I finally hunted down the man who killed my father. With this arrow, I'll be able to avenge his death- Where'd it go? Wait a minute, hold on. You know have an awful weapon idea for D&D? The ban hammer. It basically works like this. For all intents and purposes, this functions the same way as a war hammer. Except that when a creature's defeated with it, it sends them into the future. Or they'll return with max health. But the player doesn't get to decide when that is. So at the very end of the campaign, it could look like this. At last, with a great enemy defeated, we finally brought peace back to the land. Yeah, but maybe we shouldn't have been using that war hammer the entire time? I don't understand, what do you- We finally returned! Oh. You know what's an awful weapon idea for D&D? The EXP sword. It basically works like this. On its own, it does no damage. However, by subtracting from your total EXP gained, you can add damage to its pool. So by the end of a very tough encounter, it'll look like this. Alright everybody, with the dragon defeated, you all gain access to your higher level class options. Sick! Yeah, this is gonna be great. Except for you, Jerry, you're actually, uh, you, you don't actually have any levels anymore. What does that even mean? Well, I've actually created a new class for you, it's called Peasant. You know what would be an awful weapon idea for D&D? The Croissant Sword. It's a 2d6 greatsword, but instead of dealing damage on a successful hit, it randomly shapeshifts something into a croissant. Whether that be the enemy, your ally, a random item, or yourself! This is it, fools! The final battle! Go, croissant sword! Um... Something's supposed to happen? Meanwhile, back at town... Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. NPC! You've given birth to a beautiful baby... pastry! You know what's an awful weapon idea for D&D? A magic artillery cannon that reloads itself automatically. It does this by teleporting ammunition from anywhere in the world. But it's not really specific in what it considers ammunition. So at any point during the battle, you could be launching cannonballs, arrows, swords, hot dogs, or even smaller teammates. Quickly, Dave, launch the artillery cannon! Uh, Dave's not here. What do you mean? Where'd he go? I don't know, you launched him with the second bombardment! You know what's an awful weapon idea for D&D? The Sword of Displacement. It's a magic longsword, but on a successful hit, it teleports enemies. Where it teleports them to is unknown, but there's a 50% chance that it's gonna replace it with something bigger. This is it, heroes, the final confrontation! Fight me! Go Displacement Sword! Wait a minute, are you sure you wanna- Ah! See, it all worked out in the end. It is I, the bigger Demon King! I hate you. With all of my hate. You know what's an awful weapon idea for D&D? A bow with arrows that never miss. It doesn't matter where you are or where you go, it will always find a way to hit you. Except the bow is sentient and only targets one person. And it refuses to tell you which person. Quickly, friend, let loose your arrow! Yeah! Where's it- where's it- where's it going? Meanwhile, far, far away. So anyway, sorry for the wait, here's your food, and we actually have a special going with- ah! 